The following news segment is produced for MTN by the Western Ag Network. Now, here's your farm and ranch report from the Montana Ag Network. Welcome back for today's farm and ranch news. Today we see that 11 national agriculture organizations have filed comments on the U.S. Securities and Exchange Commission's controversial proposed greenhouse gas disclosure rule. The rule would require publicly traded companies to disclose their direct energy consumption and supply chain emissions, which farm advocates say would create a burden on food producers who supply publicly traded processors, restaurants, and retailers. The National Potato Council is a part of the coalition opposed to what they call an overreaching government mandate. What they're saying is, if you are an SEC regulated entity, if you're uh, uh, a, a publicly traded company on the stock exchange, for example, you need to report your, your impact on the climate, your greenhouse gas emissions footprint. But they go beyond that, and this is how agriculture gets sucked in. They've also said you have to report on the entirety of your supply chain. In so doing, that drives SEC regulations all the way down to the family farm. By law, the rule would require publicly traded companies to track their emissions all the way back to the farm. I think it's highly likely in the example of a publicly traded grocery store that sells potatoes, that grocery store is going to come to farmers all the way down at the farm level and say, we need you to quantify your greenhouse gas emissions, effectively your climate footprint, because we as the grocery store, we're your customer and we want to minimize the amount of work that we're taking on. So you're going to do for your for your section of this gigantic pie um, that we're all having to take a bite of you're going to do that yourself and you're going to certify this for us. Other members of the Ag Coalition opposing the SEC rule include the American Farm Bureau, National Cattlemen's Beef Association, and National Association of Wheat Growers, among others. We'll be right back. 